The dragon is always alive. Shh, don't tell him. And recording should be good. Sweet, sweet. All right, all right. Take, oh, take, oh, key. A shakily written note, there's no one left to remind me I can't trust the thoughts in my head. Some of them are hers, but these are mine. Key to balcony, do not use. It won't make me better. They lied. She lied. Key to balcony, key to balcony, time to go to the balcony. Oh, run. This is cool. This is really, it's the, it's pretending to be fake so we don't slay it. Oh. Uh. Bump your bag? How fun is this? Cause I like just got it and you're planning on streaming it later. Um, it's great. This game, freaking fantastic. It's incredibly addicting, yep. It's one that you have to dedicate a lot of time to if you ever want to finish it. It's easily over 100 hours to spend in this game. And that's just with one character. But, really, especially if you have all the DLCs and stuff, highly recommend. Oh, sweet! Combat's really fun. The story is fantastic. Characters are really cool. Oh, this guy is died horribly. And the graphics are quite pretty. Similar Knights of the Old Republic. I've never played, but it is a Bioware game. So if you played a Bioware game, which Knights of the Old Republic is, then you'll kind of know what you're in for. Anything else? I'm going to open this side. Okay. All right, time to touch the golden cube of um whatever this is. Magic golden cunny cube. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Oh, it's the dwarven. Oh wow. I got plus ten cunny. That works out well for me. Oh wow. Hi there. Do I have to come down to you? Because I could totally just take you out from up here. Arcane horror. Jeez, Louise. Come up, please. 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 No. And they've sealed off the doors. Your favorite kind of cube? <laughs> Let's see. Did I do it? All right. Um. Come on. Oh, nope. That's not what I meant to do. I'm trying to run away. Oh, wow. You're almost done. All right. The suffering that drew the spirit here, or cruelty. At least it is over. I wonder, because that would actually. If it was suffering that drew the spirit, it could have been a compassion spirit, but I think it was probably a desire demon. Because desire demons are drawn by suffering and desire. I could have totally... I know. Never played the night. I... I, I want to. I, I think I started it once a long time ago. Oh, wow. I could have totally sniped it. Oh, wait. I, mm, it just wasn't showing up on the map thing, so. All right. Well, now I have to go back up again because now I want to go upstairs and open that door. Well, all the undead are gone. Looks like. Oh, cool! Cole, Bull, and Sarah would have been awesome to bring. I'm glad I brought Solas. I knew Solas would probably have something interesting to say if it was a haunted house. Because like, like, haunted house is like spirits, right? So, Solas had something to say. Should have brought Cole, though, for sure. Dang it. Next time I will. When I play with my other Inquisitor, I'll bring her here. With Cole. And either Iron Bull or Sarah and Solas. No, I don't want to go down. Okay. 
I hear like Who's Cole? Huh? What? I don't know, Cole. What is this Cole you speak of? Balcony doors. That was creepy. Like, and it wasn't like, you know, jump scary. It was a little bit when the fires were lighting themselves, but like, that was sad and like creepy sad. Oh, of course it does. Of course it requires that guy. I thought maybe having the key would help me, but no. And perfect for looters. Yay. I wonder how long this house has been abandoned. Like, it seems like it would have been for a long time, but I can't see. Well, that was cool, though. That was pretty intense, like, with a little treasure hunt and everything. And it showed up on the quest. This, 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 this. Completed. Huh. An ancient horror. I wonder if that was... It was probably the girl got possessed. And became an arcane horror. Yep. I know, I should have gotten it. Let me see. Uh, I don't have it. I don't have any... I don't think I actually... I think I used up my... Oh, I know! I do have an Inquisition perk point! I didn't realize! Alright, well... Let's, um... Let's go use that, I guess. I, th I remember getting one, because I just, like, leveled up to, like, level 11, and I thought that I had already done it. Just so you guys know, I'm probably going to have to leave in about a half an hour, even though we're, like, still going strong. Um, because to get to work on time, I have to leave at about 2 o'clock my time. And I got mostly everything packed and put away, but I'm going to need to, like, edit these, like, super quick. And be, like, encoding them and uploading them. Uh, perk point, perk point, perk point, perk point. Yeah. I definitely think that the... You know what it sounded like? It sounded like in Origins when um, Connor gets possessed by the Desire Demon and everybody's dancing. Like, he's like, oh, he had such fun, you know, everybody danced to their feet, till their feet bled and became, like, stubs, you know? Like, that's what it sounded like when the girl was like, oh, it was such fun, we were dancing, and then Mom was so happy she was crying and everything. That's what it sounded like. Kids getting... Oh, man. Having to deal with demons is just really sucky. Because they, sometimes they don't get it for, for a while. Like they don't quite know what's going on, but... And the demon alters their vision, for sure. Like, where they could maybe see what they were doing was wrong at one point. Now they can't. Dang it. Okay, hang on. Let me see. So I do have advanced focus. I really wanted to get the next one up. But... Uh... Secrets. I wanted to get optimal cutting, too. At some point in these games, you get the skill to just smash locks and doors, take on dragons, but you can't open a door. I know, right? Like, why couldn't I have Cassandra back? Uh. Connections. No, I don't know. These, I mean, these seem like they might be useful. But, I don't know. And the Antivan tailoring. Imperial Court. Yeah, I'll get the... Alright, time to get the... Deft Hand Fine Tools perk. <laughs> you have to respect your surroundings because you're a political figure. Yeah! Fine! 
Look at there you go, Frog Raider and everybody. Everybody else who wanted me to get that one. <laughs> Yay. What? It as near as possible it is, is to tell. Oh man. Yep, I totally didn't do that. Well, I did, but then it just didn't happen. Gather herbs. Oh man. Okay, what do we? We could do the red Jenny one. Pursuit through the mountains. Was, was there anything over? Oh yeah. I love in this situation. Oh my gosh, someone made a calendar mapping out exactly when every event in Inquisition takes place. Oh my gosh. I would love, you know what, I really want a hard copy of a codex, of like the codex of this game. I was actually thinking about doing that someday. But the stuff people do, like they make maps and stuff, and they make like a calendar, like, oh man. That's insane. I love this. Like, you would think that Leliana would be the one to sell. Or blackmail. But Leliana is the one who's like, let's send it to him as a gesture of goodwill and see what they do with it. I'd be interested to see. I think, I think last time I actually sent Josephine out. I, I'm curious. I know, Liliana wants to be nice, and freaking Cullen's like, let's sell it to their enemies. I'm like, oh man. Oh, shoot, I prefer doing this Liliana's way. Dang it. Okay. Morbin's arrival! Oh, yeah. No, Cullen's, Cullen's a fun sucker on this one. We'll have Josephine do it. Inquisitor. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. College of Magi. Uh, it looks like Colin's actually two. Inquisitor. I think someone made a compilation of all of the codex entries. I've seen the comp. I I've seen of the compilation of codex entries online. Um, but I would love to just have a hard copy, you know, with like art and stuff in it. I don't know. I think that'd be nice. Not that anything, anything of that that I made would be super nice, but it would just be, you know, probably printed. Um, so let's go, I don't, I'm curious, let's go back, where was it? We were in the Emerald Graves. And, oh, the Viridian, oh, that's right, the Viridian Mine. Motherly Encouragement, alright, so we want to go, dang it, mm -hmm. keep doing the Witcher thing. Mark it! Okay, won't let me. All right, we'll, we'll travel there really quick. We're in, we'll just bring, I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna react to it now, so. Not that Bioware ever pays much attention to their own lore. They seem to do some things, but some things seem to be forgotten. Like I saw on Tumblr again that somebody pointed out that they forgot, it seems like they forgot that Thetis has two moons. <laughs> So when you go to, like, the Hissing Waste and it's nighttime, there's only one moon. I'm like, unless the other moon is just not up at the time, but, I mean, that would, you'd have to explain that thoroughly, you know what I mean? Like, you'd have to be like, here's how it is, but, I don't know. But, and the, the elves thing always gets me, the half-elves thing. I'm not sure where they're, I, I feel like they have somewhere they're going with that, but I don't know what it is doing with it. Like, they're like, it doesn't work genetically. I'm like, what do you mean it doesn't work? I mean, if it works, like, magic, if it works by magic, that's fine. Like, that's one way of doing things. But at the same time, like, I'm like, but that is genetics. Like, you're, the inheritance of abilities and traits is, that is basically the definition of genetics. Yeah, but it's a big moon. Oh, maybe the other one's hiding behind it. Yes. 
horrible or anything, but it is just like, I wonder who like first noticed that, was just like looking up at the sky and was like, hold on a second. <laughs> There's supposed to be two moons up there. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, lyrium is super dangerous. Put it in your pockets, camp on it. <laughs> That's true, there is that one too. Like I actually, when I, when I first played Inquisition and I got to the Empries and there was red lyrium everywhere, not just lyrium, red lyrium everywhere, to approach it because it, and it looks really malevolent you know and it's like and I was like oh man and I was like I was like slowly inching my character closer to it and like expecting to have to like jump back really quick or something if it started to like drain my health but it didn't. <laughs> it didn't and then you could jump on it and everything and I'm like I understand maybe they didn't want like to have people like get insta death or something you know like just wandering around at the same time, yeah, you pick up red lyrium and just put it in your pocket to make runes with. And I'm like, uh, unless, and they could say, like, you know, here's the special lyrium case that we carry around our lyrium samples in. And you could headcanon that, you know, that you, you actually, like, you do, you know, you're not stupid with it. You don't just put it in your pocket and go from there. But still... Magic surfaces later in childhood during puberty. Jalen seven, win nine, Emil six. Yeah, that's a little early. <laughs> well, and I think some of them. I think it's kind of rare for some of them to be taken at like twelve. You know, I think Anders was about twelve. And uh, what was it? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. I think Anders was about 12. And they make, I think at one point um, in Dragon Age 2, you read something from, um, oh shoot, what's his name? I just, I have like a major crush on him. Why, uh, Orsino. Um, he said one of his friends came in at 12, and so she knew real life was like. Like, she remembered, you know? what real life was like outside the walls, and it's especially hard for those who have lived a long time outside the w walls of the circle to be stuck in the circle. But... I think, I think Dragon Age is in good hands with Patrick Weeks, but... As Circle Templar is demanding another payment, greedy bastard taking advantage of us all these years because we wanted to preserve our... Not our child, our good family name. He promised to silence the mage once returned to his circle, but that doesn't protect us from the Templar. I wonder, though, was it enough? No, the magic was strong. Even I could sense it. It was terrifying. There was no way the child could break through. She doesn't even have training. So long as she stays inside, everything will be all right. No one will have... Oh my gosh! They, like, purposefully stuck their kid in a room and, like, never interacted with her? That's the Lord's Journal. Oh my gosh. Last word again, I just got that. Sigil of the Golem. This is a pretty banner, I like that. Superb Ring of Staggering, another one. Sacrifice Dagger. Oh, mosaic piece, hung in the wall. Nice, invasion, all right, all right. I think, does each area have their own, like, has its own mural and the you know empress has its own mural that you do or is it is that not how it works well real quick let's actually go to the hallow mire and get black walls um piece that we have to get yeah oh it's 12 30 you're right i should probably all right let's look at this <laughs> let's look at this <laughs> but I want to go get the uh, the memories of the gray that we have to get still. Yeah, I should be good. We'll do this really quick and then we'll go. Again, okay, I'm not, for those of you watching, um, I'm not sure. I have enough Witcher 3 videos for the week. Um, I'm, 
I might have one more. I have one more Mass Effect 2 video, and then we're done with that. So after this, it'll just be Dragon Age and Witcher for a week. Ah. Oh, shoot. I need... Oh, shoot. Wait. I need Blackwall with me. Or he'll be mad. Uh, or he'll be displeased. Blackwall, 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 Blackwall. Um, Dorian, Cassandra, Blackwall. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, Blackwall, let's do this. What do you have? You don't have any more slots left. Shoot. Oh, Bucko. Okay, let's give you. Ooh, yes. Give you a bonus on that. Yes. Oh, what I do, I want to give you, shoot, I wanted to give you the Horn of Valor, or, yeah, the Horn of Valor. I want to give him Horn of Valor eventually. So we'll unlock that. Oh, wait. Fast travel to the closer spot. Perfect. True. I guess medieval puberty is probably earlier than ours. But, I mean, six, nine, I could see, you know, like being like, oh, you're getting old enough to help on the farm and get married and all that. But, six is a bit early. But, I mean, there are, I think there's, there's gotta be, you know, like... There are some that come into the magic a bit early, some that come in a bit late. Probably, maybe the average is puberty age, but there's gonna be ones that have it earlier or later. Yes, we're going, Blackwall. Should we look around? I love Blackwall. Oh, Summerstone. I have lots of Summerstone. The one thing that, that, that gets me, basically, is the elf thing. I'm very... Well, because in Dragon Age... I mean, in Dragon Age 1, they're like half-elf... Or, I don't know if they've mentioned it so much in Dragon Age 1. But in Dragon Age 2, the half-elf, even though it's acknowledged in the lore that half-elves don't look like humans, um... Or the half-elf that we interact with... Um, he looks half elf. Like he's got like sort of elven features and elven ears. Right. These days, kids start puberty earlier. It depends. I think um, I have read that that kids are starting to have. They're starting to do earlier. Um. On in certain areas. Uh, where is it? There it is. Grey Warden Tome. I actually really like this poem. The history of the Grey Wardens is fascinating. It is. There's, it's not, there's not enough of it. There's not, I, I don't know, it just, it gets, it gets locked up and, oh, a warden helmet. And nobody knows, oh, mosaic piece, sweet. Nobody knows, even the wardens themselves, that they keep so much hidden from, from each other, it's kind of weird. Alistair, oh, if they admit Fainreal was a fluke, he wasn't supposed to look so elfy. Make any sense, though. Alistair is technically a half elf. That's true, and random flukes do happen, so. People are generally taller because they have access to more food. I know obesity, uh, childhood obesity, um, has helped increase early onset puberty because your body's like, oh, freaking, like, we're healthy, we're good, we got is great we can have babies earlier that's basically how 
how it goes, I think. Um, so they did admit that Fainrail was a fluke. I, it's just... Because Alistair is technically a half-elf, and I've actually been thinking about playing Dragon Age Origins and romancing Morrigan with an elf male, and then having, like, you know, doing the ritual and having a child that is both old god and half-elf. And I, I don't think... Technically, I think that would make some interesting changes, like, to whatever is going to happen to the elves because of the whole half-elf, not half-elf thing. I don't know, but it would be very interesting, and it probably won't change anything actually in the game, but it'd be kind of interesting to, like, headcanon about. Am I? Do I? Oh, no. I unlocked this door. Is it? I unlocked the game. Is it gonna just stay there? This game is so cool looking. Pull? Did I already do that? Oh. Oh, I did that like ages ago. Yeah, you wanna play Origins? But you want to romance Morgan? I know, I was actually really bummed when I figured out more. I thought Morgan went both ways. I was like, you can't tell me Morgan doesn't swing both ways because I really want to romance her with a female. Like, I don't know why, I just do. I feel like it'd be really, in a really interesting dynamic. Um, no, I can't wait to meet Kieran too. Kieran's a bit creepy. I would expect him to be slightly creepy. He's Morgan's child, and he's also an old god, sort of. And I'm, I, I've am i only seen, like, snapshots of him, and I actually found out about his existence through the art book. I didn't know about him until I got the uh, the Dragon Age Inquisition art book, and there's like, a picture of him in there, and I was like, oh my gosh, what? And I think that that's really, really cool. Okay, I'm going to play Origins and romance Morgan with an elf male. Well, yeah, well, she could have a baby if she was with a woman because you can actually have her sleep with Alistair or Loghain. I think even if you're romancing Alistair, you can still convince Alistair to sleep with Morrigan. And I think if you're in a romance with Morrigan, you can convince her to sleep with Alistair. He's played by her actual child, too. Oh my gosh, no way. Like, the voice actor, the voice actress, her son, plays Kieran. <gasps> oh, as a normal kid, he's just cute. As an old god baby, he's a bit cool-ish. Okay. That's cool. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, and that's the thing, is I want to play Inquisition someday. And this is the thing, is I want to play Origin. I eventually don't let Morgan, or no, I do let Morgan do the ritual, but somehow she just, or no. I think you do sleep with her, but don't do the ritual, but you romance her, you have a regular baby, but you die, your warden dies, or whichever of the two warden options you have. But I was like, someday I want to play Inquisition with a save file like that, and someday I want to play Inquisition with a save file where the, there's so many different ways, but it's all little things that just gonna, it's gonna take forever, because I don't want to play the Inquisition save file unless I with that mindset and I can like I'm like super invested in it you know people were sad he doesn't look like their warden I I wasn't expecting him to I think it was a good idea to keep him looking a lot like Morrigan she named her son Odin in real life oh my gosh that's awesome Odin's son Odin Black what a name oh my gosh that kid's going places you sacrifice yourself so your kid will be safe. Oh, oh my gosh. See, and I want to play all I don't want to just watch them on YouTube. I want to play them. But it's going to take so long. Different eye color to it. So that the kid doesn't have the same eye color. Kieran? Does he have the eye color? I guess... Because there's no way to... Im well, at least... A way... To input your warden's appearance into the keep at all so there's no way they could be like you know he has your eyes that would be so cool though 
If you could, you know, we could have a cool mod, to be honest, if you could give Kieran the eye color of your warden, if, or Alistair, depending on, you know, who, or Loghain, depending on who's the father. That'd be really cool. Alright, well, I should probably go, guys. He has blue eyes. He does have blue eyes, doesn't he? Yeah. Go, I gotta get these edited really quick and thrown together and, and leave pretty soon. What if your warden wasn't white? Oh yeah, I know, I did know that Connor made an appearance in Origins, but I don't, I haven't found him. I should maybe look for him. I don't know if he's still alive on this world save. What if your warden wasn't white? Hmm. I, that's a good point. I guess you, you see like families that heritage families and they have an entire spectrum of kids some of them can be like really light really dark right in between but oh have fun yes i'm gonna enjoy my dragon age camping trip maybe i'm gonna like draw a banner really quick and hang it outside my camping door so that way i'll be like yeah i'm camping i need to get like little inquisition scout figures and put them outside my door that would be so funny everybody be like what's wrong with you i'd take a picture and i'd show you guys if i do that <laughs> i'll make little mud and sticks figures <laughs> Ah. Well, thank you for putting up with this sick stream, the me being sick, um, and it's kind of a short one, but and I know we're on a roll, but thank you guys for joining me. I will enjoy camping. Thanks to you all now. I'm glad I was able to chat with you before I left. So uh, once again, thank you. I will see you guys next time.